Here it is, guys. Check it out. My Mega Monster Mud Truck. I love it. I've been working on this uh, Axial SMT-10. This was the maximum destruction version uh, for a few months now in preparation for the coming mud. And yes, these are the strongest pylons I've ever seen to hold up a truck of this magnitude. Uh, <laughs> with with uh, the coming warm months, right? Now being March, I'm totally celebrating this because I've had a long winter indoors. Looking forward to getting outside and enjoying some RC out in the sunlight. Uh, but I want to make sure that my truck is ready to go and as you can see here I've chosen a Holmes Hobbies brushless censored motor we're going to get into that more in a moment uh, but if you haven't seen anything about this truck I do have a few build videos I'll leave a link uh, up in the uh, link here or in the video description box down below of course uh, for those that want to check out more about these tires and whatever I'll leave links to this stuff in the video description box down below as well best I can like I do in all of my videos now, I did have the maximum destruction body on here, but I opted to have this Ford flame job on here, which is so much nicer in my opinion. A little bit more ready for bashing instead of having spikes all over the truck. Uh, and uh, I did test this vehicle out, um, and it's wonderful. I didn't have the tires glued because I wanted to find some beadlocks for it, but I gave up my search. I have not found any beadlocks for these uh, unusually sized uh, diameter tire, which is fine, but look at the tread on these guys this is just superb right I expect these to wear down these are fairly new these J concepts um, as I haven't really had much runtime on them except other than to test it uh, but I know out in the mud they're going to be uh, doing the job that they're supposed to so let's have a look under the hood here I know it's more than a hood but just for ease of use. Uh, you guys did watch me go in, install the axial uh, motor onto an aluminum transmission. Uh, also, I want to switch over today uh, from that motor. Uh, I'm going to use the same old Tekken <laughs> RX4 that I have. I'm going to switch this over because this is uh, censored as well. Uh, I just put some new leads on there. going to hook it directly up to the motor itself. Could put some bullet ends on here, but I don't have any at the moment. Not a big deal. Didn't even get started yet, and it's dumping dirt all over the table. Okay, it's this going to be pretty straightforward and easy. I'm just going to undo these uh, bullet connectors right here, undo these four screws that connect the transmission, and then drop it down. They're going to slide off of these two drive shafts, and I should be able to remove the whole piece. And just like that. All right, so here is the uh, transmission and motor mount plate. Uh, it's basically attached together. I don't have a link for this. This was actually purchased on eBay. Uh, I got it several months ago from the time of this filming. So if you want to check it out, if you go to uh, eBay and check for Axial SCX10 aluminum uh, transmission, I'm sure you'll find something like this. Uh, even though that's not the model I'm working on today, they are interchangeable. Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this motor from the motor mount uh, plate itself and da -da -da, you guys saw it on the back of the truck of course this is my Holmes hobby polar pro 540 uh, brushless rock crawler motor the 3500 kv uh, you guys can see all the specs there i contacted Holmes hobbies and said to them listen i'm building the uh, monster mega monster mud truck uh, what do you guys suggest uh, for the motor and this was exactly what they thought in fact they sent this to me to try it out um, so big shout out to Holmes Hobby and thank you for that. Um, you can see one of the big sexy things here for me is that it is waterproof. So I'm really, really excited about uh, having a brushless censored um, motor that can go in the water. That's why I chose the uh, Tekken RX4 um, ESC today uh, because it is waterproof as well and uh, we'll be able to do censored brushless motors. Let's have a look at this beast. One handing it here. <laughs> Ta da 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 What a beauty. 
Well done. So Holmes Hobbies, of course, known for their outstanding and magnificent work uh, on their um, um, customized motors as well as their, um, you know, more manufactured motors, getting them out there. Everybody in the crawler industry uses these motors and nothing but good things to say out there about this company. So here I am. I want to give this a shot. So big shout out to those guys again. I'll leave a link to this motor in the video description box down below in case anybody wants to check it out. Let's install this beauty. Right on, check it out, bullet connectors came with it as well, so I can uh, attach these to the wires on the uh, Tekken RX4. Everyone's going to tell me that I need a pair of extra hands, uh, which is like a fly fishing uh, alligator clip setup, which they're absolutely right. I could use one of those. I still don't know why I don't have one. <laughs> And then just let everything kind of cool off. Once it has, you can um, put the shrink tube on, but do not do that before uh, you're done because if you don't have enough of this, you might wreck it and there's a lot of residual heat in that wire. Okay, shrink tube goes over the top. Make sure to have it go over the end just a little bit. And then normally I'll hold it with my finger at the bottom and heat up the top a slight amount to make sure that it's right at the end. Not too long because you don't want to burn it. Always rotating. And then there, that is your connection. No, it turns out that I don't really have uh, the hardened pinion I thought I was going to have, so I decided to go with a 16 tooth pinion instead. Uh, and I'm just putting it on, uh, on the motor shaft right now, but I'm not using any Loctite. The reason I'm not using Loctite is because I still want to see when I get it mounted up where it has to be adjusted uh, in relation to the spur gear. Ooh, it looks so nice. That's going to be a good fit and a perfect motor for the monster mud truck. Just slide it back into place. All right, so the stock ESC is right underneath the driver's plate. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, interior so I can have access and remove that ESC. There we go. So I have the RX4 installed and the Holmes Hobby motor. Perfect. All the wires are now nice and tucked out of the way, even though I don't have my driver back in there quite yet. Um, but until I go racing around with the lid off, I don't really need the driver in there. It doesn't really protect anything. Um, in the last episode, I did add a sound kit, so I'll just hook that in. And I think we should go for a quick rip outside. Now you can see with the red light why I left my receiver uh, on top of that cage. What a great motor!
such a stable truck too. Oh, as soon as I see it, of course. It's getting dark out, guys. We're gonna have to do more of this truck coming up in the next episode of RC Adventures! Woohoo!